But, you know, there's been a young man who's been saying some. I get critics all the time. But y'all keep emailing me about this dude. You see what I mean? I sent the boy a strike thinking he'd leave me alone. And he's still harassing, saying stupid stuff. You see what I'm saying? Son, I want you to hear me, okay? Your sister's husband or fiance is in the hospital. I was planning to sue you, young blood. I was planning to sue you up in Oregon where you at, okay? And file that lawsuit. <laughs> I was gonna subpoena your criminal records, everything. Nobody would have believed anything you said. This was what I was planning on doing to you. You see what I mean? And in doing so, I'm scouring the internet. <clears throat> I'm looking through all the stuff. I know which bank you bank with. I know your birth date. I got your social, I got your bank account. I got everything. I literally have the ability to wrap your life up in hell, even worse than you've already done yourself. You're 28 years old. You got a young son you need to raise. You don't want problems with me. And you know, you lucky that sweet, beautiful sister of yours. Now that nigga, y'all, his name is Evil Twin. Somebody type Evil Twin in the chat room. If it wasn't for that beautiful sister of yours who said, I just want to be able to take care of my man. I was going to sue your Oregon ass. Can't leave in the state ass, probation ass nigga. Two felony having motherfucker. <laughs> File that suit over there in the Southern District of Oregon. Have your ass served at that ragged ass house. You need to cut them bushes from in front of that goddamn house. <laughs> Trying to pretend like you don't live. Nigga, I know where you live, nigga. You live on the other side of that open uh, school. Nigga, I know where you at. Nigga, we figured that out. Serve you. Now you got 21 days to answer the lawsuit. And they're going to be like, well, this is a federal court case, sir. We're going to need at least $25,000. And it's going to cost $100,000. You call this man, you've interfered. You call this man a a, 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 a motherfucking, uh, what was the word? Uh, you call this man this horrible, so the, the heathen bullshit ass thing? Nigga, no. He gonna sue you. Why you throw, you can't throw stones if you live in the glass house. And then you trying to interpret music that you don't fucking understand. Son, you not on my level with your young 28 year old ass. You're too fucking light skinned to be fighting any motherfucking way. <laughs> nigga, you too light. Nigga, you five foot seven. Nigga, you bruise. You clear, nigga. Your skin is clear, nigga. You a clear skin. He you said you bruise You can see your blue veins through your motherfucking skin. You not tough, little brother. You you come you out here just just nigga talk about computers and real estate, nigga, stay in your lane. <laughs> you got, you know, you be a good young father. Be yourself. Stop trying to box with niggas and they over your weight class. The only reason I'm not fucking you up Monday morning and filing a lawsuit in Oregon against your ass and subpoenaing your real estate records, uh, your real estate, your license records and, and sending subpoenas out to your criminal records and contacting the court and determining if you on probation. You see what I mean? And subpoenaing all your uh, cash app accounts and PayPal accounts and AdSense accounts to see how much money you made off my shit mm. and contacting YouTube. And the, the only reason I'm because this sweet girl right here, your mama oh, and your sister, your mama just got married. You understand? I've been, she's been working at, she married somebody I happen to know. Ah, oh, like, God damn. Oof. You know? Ah. Uh, yeah. Took the, like steam out of my, took the steam out of a nigga. Like, ah. <laughs> And then, you know, this baby, this baby right here, she just, and then she put the little, oh, I can't, ah. Oh. Yeah. So tell that nigga to go fuck himself, okay, over and over again. <laughs> tell him that he can say whatever the hell he wants to say about my music on the internet. It's just because he's an ignoramus. The deaf, the dumb, and the blind, the 85 are not supposed to know what the 5 percenters know. That's mm -hmm. why we call you deaf, dumb, and blind in the first place. Shout out to the fives. You understand what I'm saying? If I'm writing in symbolism and code, you're not supposed to get it. It's above your wavelength. You're too light-skinned, nigga. Your penile gland is frozen up. <laughs> you don't have enough melanin content in your body to connect with the universal order, nigga. You understand? 
praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what happened. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, nigga, your third eye is frozen, nigga. You are not having the melanin popping. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Bruce, yeah. too easy. <laughs> Decipher, nigga. You're not invited to the cipher. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because you don't want to make enemies out of people who know your mama. <laughs> yeah, he, so he who your mama moment. been up in their law office and you done been up over there and y'all do big, you send money to the place where your mama worked so that they can pay their employees. That's what personal injury lawyers do. She worked at a chiropractic, Houston uh, Health and Rehab, and we've been doing business with them for decades. And I send clients over there, and that's how they pay their employees. And I know she's changed jobs, because I call, and they hold on, yeah, I know. But nigga, Stop making enemies out of motherfuckers that don't. Just do it the right way, little light skinned nigga. Okay? <laughs> just do it the right way. you not, you just, you know I'm saying. Now, as far as that young brother, I ain't got nothing else to say to him no more. If he say something else about me, y'all go say, well, man, you don't understand the music clearly. There ain't nothing else to talk about. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to say. You understand? It's just really. He, he, we know he's trying to get his viewership up. I'm not going to give him what he wants. I ain't going to even mention the Negro's name. You see what I'm saying? You ain't going to get no shine over here. All you was going to get is a lawsuit. But I can't do that because your sister's sweet. And your mama worked for the, one of the company. Nigga, your mama was in my office, nigga. <laughs> 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 your mama was in there. Your daddy was one of my, it's a small town. We live in Houston, it's the biggest small town in America. Everybody know everybody, nigga. Tell Miss Denise I said hello. Tell Lorraine, we call her Lorraine. Tell us Lorraine, Miss <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Act like we don't, boy, you know, we get the fuck out of here. Praise hey, God. Let the church say amen, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you, brother. I want to be the black man that helps black men. I don't want to be the black man that harms black men. And you making me do something I don't want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Don't make me do that. I don't want to do that. And I know you think you winning, but all them sorry motherfuckers is laughing along with you. They're going to be laughing at you. You see what I'm saying? You all look at yourself on the internet, brother. Google your name. Look at all the horrible things they're saying about you. Your sons are gonna grow up and see that. The last thing you want is a federal lawsuit against you, which prevents you in, I'm seizing your money. Let me finish, brother. I'm seizing your money. You can't take care of your responsibilities as a man. You know, you don't do that. Why pick a fight with somebody who just ain't thinking about you? I wanna educate my brothers. I wanna help black men get in better positions. And when I see, I'm telling you, boy, for, look, I'm telling y'all, man, I took a complete 180. I was on war mission. I was going to serve this dude. 